Well, ain't this a nice surprise to wake up to? We don't actually have to wait all that long for us to finally get the lotto over here on the NA side of things. If you're anything like myself, you've been pulling a couple of new servants, been leveling them up, noticing that you need a little bit of QP, and especially some caster cookies, which are the bane of my existence right now. Chains are also the bane of my existence right now. So I am really looking forward to this upcoming lotto to just snag a bunch of materials, get a whole bunch of QP, and if you're a newer player, let me inform you. So this is essentially the Twitter campaign that we always get before the actual event itself drops, which it looks like it's going to be ending before the 6th, which that is going to be a Wednesday. So if they want to like go ahead and put this out at the latest, we're going to get the Caldea Fey Night uh, event over on Wednesday, next Wednesday. And if you don't know why this is a big deal, let me just show you. Now, you can see all this. You're like, oh, okay, that's a new servant. I could tell that's going to be somebody new. We don't actually care about any of that. The thing we care about is this right here, the lottery, because basically every time you clear a mission, you're going to get this special currency for this event. And you're going to be able to use that to open up these lotto boxes over here. And your first 10, you know, they have some extra goodies, you know, they have the CE that you need. And don't worry, you're going to be doing so many runs on these missions that it does not matter, right, that you're getting the CE in here. You're, you're going to get so many of these that just stacking up stuff, right? It's everything in here. This is realistically what you care about. The fact that you're getting all of these gems and everything. So you're going to be pretty much topped up on skill materials for the longest time. You're also going to be getting some really basic material that you just need a metric butt ton of. I mean, especially stakes, night metals, stingers. I don't feel like you need that many of, but it's just, it's one of those things that when you don't have them, it really sucks, right? Homunculus baby in the steel is kind of whatever, but yeah, it comes down to the fact you're going to be good on skill ascensions. It's base, and especially hero proofs, right? Because we missed out on that Ivan raid, you know, which I'm still not letting them live down. Uh, we lost uh, last year, right? If you don't know, Ivan was defeated before we could even start. So we didn't actually get to get our hero proofs from that raid. So some people like myself are actually hurting on hero proofs. And so the fact that they're going to be in here is a huge major deal, but you're also getting QP, you're stocking up on apples. And then once you do your initial 10, that also include, you know, like a lore, uh, you also get like your gold foes and everything. Uh, 11 and onward is going to look like this. So obviously you don't get a free CE every time you clear this. I think it'd be a little bit broken. <laughs> That'd be a little disgusting, but you're still getting a uh, QP, still getting your skill up materials and you're still getting the mats over here, right? It's still very, very good. And also if you're just grailing somebody or you have servants to level for the Saint Quartz, for the Pure Prisms to get other materials that are not listed here, uh, you can also get the EXP cards, right? It also helps that some of the free quests have some fairly decent drops. Like the ones you're going to be farming are pretty much always going to be these last ones. Uh, this one has the like Lost Belt 6 material thing that you need for uh, like Morgans, Melusines, uh, Ace that's going to be coming out next year. Those type of characters. Uh, this one, not as good. I believe the last one over here. Yeah, it had mirrors and it has bells. Right, which again is also for like a lot of your Lost Belt 6 characters that need like 216 of these things, right? So it's a very, very good lotto. Not only having a really good uh, lottery box that I think is very strong, but you also have pretty good drops on your actual quest themselves. I think the, was this for Christmas or this one? Yeah, I think it might've been Christmas because I think uh, one of the other ones had a very strong 90 plus note as well. I mean, that one has seeds, it's fine, which I guess, if you're newer and you're like, well, I don't know if I could do the, the high end ones for these ones. Don't worry if you could only do like this one, that's still fine. These are absolute killers for new accounts, killers in a good way, meaning that you can just get a very, very strong start. You know, most people early on in the game are struggling with QP. They need certain like materials and whatnot. The new player missions definitely help, but it's not going to be as good as you getting just every single type of skill gem you know every type of uh you know skill orb and you know cookie over here plus just basic mats again like, you might not think that something like homunculus babies is going to be very good but for a newer player that's going to be like leveling up just all sorts of random units that's going to be helpful like i believe someone like paracelsus who's really good for players early on needs homunculus babies for um uh, it's either his skills or ascension so just having these things available not having to take time away from clearing main story or clearing event to go ahead and get into this is very strong i think the only unfortunate bit is you do have to you do have to be caught up on um uh, Avalon the Fate, but that's only for the main quest. Uh, Fuyuki for being able to do the free quest, right? The free quest and the exhibition quest, that's all you really care about. And even if you're a newer player, don't worry about the exhibition quest because these, these are like boss fights. If you can't do them, don't worry about it. This is all you want. You only want this, which I think is super insane, right? Like that is really cool. So don't don't come looking into this being like, oh man, I have to, I have to clear Lost Belt 6. 
that's only for story because you know like Morgan's involved. Um, I think like Vargas and Melusine are also involved. If I if I'm remembering what I kind of skimmed through it on JP. You know, you guys know me. Whenever something is involved in Morgan, that's pretty much the only thing I'm paying attention to, right? Uh, but yeah, you only need to clear Fuyuki if you want to be able to take part in doing the lotto, which is incredibly based on their part. So yeah, just get yourself ready for that. It's probably going to be next week when they drop that. It does look like we're going to be getting Advanced Quest 10 next. It looks like it's going to be dropping on the 30th over here, which this one's not too bad. It just, I'll, I'll drop a guide for this probably tomorrow. Just so you guys are ready for this one, but like the thin one's not too bad. It's it's actually kind of like a fun little boss fight that you're able to do. Um, bro is like able to. <laughs> you can just kind of charm lock him. I think I unironically, even though she has a type disadvantage, I think I brought Uriel for a little bit of this, and then once we kind of got him weakened down uh, during the fight, I think I brought in. It wasn't like Draco because Draco wasn't out. I don't think, but it was some other single target uh, lady servant and just brought them in and kind of beat them up. Uh, Kiyohime is not super hard. This is another one that realistically you could just bring someone like pierce invul you can kind of just uh blow them up you'll see that if you bring pierce invincibility she gives yourself a defensive bust but if you have pierce invincibility and pierce defense you can kind of just explode her you could just destroy her immediately so this one is not too hard either and then the night metal one i don't think i actually did this one this is one i'm gonna have to like brush up on and uh check up and see how hard that's gonna actually gonna be but it doesn't look too hard it just looks more like you know they're they're all doing too much you know they're all doing a lot of like uh, random uh minutia but i'll see if i can't just like run in here and blow this up with someone like morgan or something along those lines because these guys are all man if i remember correctly Ye oh no they're earth oh no they're all man okay never mind <laughs> i was like earth that's like oh, that's for ordeal call too <laughs> sorry i was a little uh a little flabbergasted and i was like earth is like night of the round table because they have like the um the the spirit things right you have like lady of the lake sword you know you have like sword of the planet and like the scalawars like that's why they're like earth attribute why, why are they you these guys are random schmucks why, why what's going on with them but yeah uh, the current event is going to be ending on the 31st so it looks like we'll be getting this um in the next couple of days to kind of follow up on and kind of have this for the week and then it looks like then we'll be getting the caldea fairy night event uh, after that which is a little bit early because 31st is thursday uh, the advanced quest, the 30th is tomorrow, which is Wednesday. And so that looks like, yeah, we'll be getting this on the sixth, which is three days early, which is nothing to be like, Oh my goodness, we're catching up because of three, you know, three days. I wouldn't get all that excited about it being early, but Hey, it being early. I mean, we'll take it a couple of days early. Cause that'll give me something to do. You know, it is now one of those times where it's like, all right, you know, go call your boss, be like, hey, buddy, I'm going to need to take the next week off, which to be fair, the only time you really have to, you know, quote unquote, do that is the very end because these two are just 90 plus nodes. You can tell because they're only giving you three, three, three of the shop material and three of the lotto material. That's for both of these right here. But then you come down to this one, uh, you can tell this is the 90 plus plus, not only because there's the large enemy, but you're getting three to four of the shop material and three to four of the lotto material. So if you're going to be a guy that's going to be, you know, bum rushing all of your golden apples, this is the one to use it on. But if you've got like a couple hundred golden apples sitting around, you don't feel bad about burning them on the, these ones as well. I mean, getting lotto drops and getting early CE drops is always going to be good. That's always going to be very, very strong to go ahead and do to secure yourself for the final one over here. Like you shouldn't be stressing out too, too hard over it. But yeah, like th this is definitely the one that if you have maybe more limited apples, maybe you're sitting around like the 50 to 60 range for golden and you haven't really been uh, topping up your blue apples, then this is the one to definitely like kind of wait for because it is going to be your best bang for your buck. Uh, this is also your personal, like, you know, service announcement to go ahead and start saving your natural APU login. You take your uh, your stamina, you convert it into blue apples immediately. You start saving all the AP you have because even though I, you know, the 90 plus plus on the Halloween event is pretty nice. You know, you can get those swords if you need them for like, uh, let's say for myself who needs them for like Huyan. Uh, doesn't, I think Charlemagne also needs swords as well. Uh, so like it is good the fact that it drops those, but look, that's nice and all, but there's free quests to go farm those. Lottos, Lottos are like super free quests, right? Because again, you're getting everything. You're getting like omni daily quests because you're getting every single skill gem right you're getting you know qp dailies you're getting those in there you're getting experience dailies in there and then you're also just getting random free quest mats in there as well you're just getting a good smattering of everything plus mana prisms as well like if you're somebody that is missing out on a lot of the um 
just various Da Vinci uh, Mana Prism CEs, this is really good for those, right? If you go super hard, you can walk out of this with like 20,000 Mana Prism, which is enough to like uh, maximum break like four or five of those. So like that's also really good. If you need your like Caldea Tea Times, your Lunch Times, your uh, Bella Lisa, Mona Lisa, Detective Foe is also really good as well. That's a solid one if you're looking to spend your Mana Prisms. So yeah, this is just good overall. It's going to be a very, very fun time over here on the NA side of things. So look for to that in the next coming week uh, but with all that being said your boy is gonna go ahead and get out of here normally i'd be going to sleep but i actually am uh, fixing my sleep schedule so i woke up pretty early so you know i'm actually just gonna go enjoy the rest of my day so <laughs> y'all also have a good rest of your day and i'll catch you guys on the flippity floppity peace